Hey guys, so I took a day of self-care, um, which is very hard for me to do. I've already checked in with my kids like 10 times, um, but they're with family and they're all good. And my husband and I needed to just like a day of self-care. So um, we're about to head out to a little dinner and um, I literally packed just a bag <laughs> with a couple things in it. So I'm just gonna do a really quick, like light date makeup. So I wanted to show that to you guys. I also have a bandaid on my finger, which is ridiculous. And my daughter gave me a manicure that's chipping. So just this hand, not this hand. So don't make it weird. I'm gonna be having to like use this finger. Um, okay, so let's just throw together something chill chill date night. First, I'm just gonna touch up my hair because it's looking a little rough. Um, so I'm just gonna literally just straighten a couple of little pieces just to kind of give it a little bit more of a polished look. I also just got a cut, so it's a little blunt. So I wanna soften it a little bit. But I've showed you guys this before with the brush. So I just want to kind of smooth this out. So let's do that. And we're going to go to grab a little chill, chill dinner, which is nice. A moment to be adults and um, not have screaming kids running around, which I love, but sometimes you got to take a break. Okay, so that's all right. I want to give a little bit of twist here so it's not just like this blunt. There we go, that's good. Yeah, let's do that on the other side too. And let's do a little flip on the bottom. So normally I would like do this in layers as we've talked about before, but this is our quick date night hair. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something. So if you have short hair like me, I mean, my hair is pretty short right now. It's really cute if you do the bottom layer, flip it out, see a little flippy. And then the rest can kind of go over, but then it gets like this cute little flippity dippity, this little like kind of um, cute bounce. So I just want to show that to you guys. Even though it's underneath, when you're moving your hair around, or you're moving or whatever, the little flippies come out and it's just a cute little little pop. All right, cool. Let's, let's throw some makeup on because um, my son's sleep progressing and mama needs a little bit of uh, makeup. Okay, so even when we're doing our express makeup, you want to make sure that you are moisturized. So make sure to get that moisturizer on there. Um, normally, if I was doing my other regular makeup, I would do like an eye mask and, and all that, but we are not doing that today. This is express time. Okay, so feels pretty moisturized. Now, first things first, we want to start with, I'm not going to do foundation all over. I'm just going to do concealer. So we're just going to do concealer around the eyes because mama needs help because I'm not sleeping because my son's not sleeping. So concealer around the eyes, nose, chin, and any like little blemishes that you want to cover. And that's it for the coverage. So let's do that. So this is this dual, um, this is not sponsored by any of this makeup, but this is just um, what I'm using right now. This is called Wander Beauty. And they also make the really cool uh, under eye pads that I wear. But I like this because it's a dual stick and the liquid, so you can just kind of like flip back and forth. So we are going to blend it to the right consistency using our hand like a palette. And we're just gonna do around the eyes and anywhere you see redness, you wanna cover. Concealer is like, a must, <laughs> for me at least. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, this light isn't great, but already it's like I look way more awake. So let's do the other side. And again, I like using my finger because the warmth of my finger really mushes the makeup into my skin and gives a more natural look, which is what I'm usually going for. Because in my regular life, I really hardly wear makeup at all. So when I do wear makeup, I want to feel, unless I'm doing like some big, you know, dress up thing, I want to feel like myself, you know, so I don't, 
I want it to look really natural. Okay, so I'm gonna do another little blend here. I'm gonna get in the nostrils because that makes a big difference to cover up those capillaries. Then I'm gonna do my chin. And then now, so I do my eyes, my nose, my chin, and now I'm just gonna go around and cover like any little blemishes or redness. Okay, that's not bad. I have a zit here that's like not really being covered up, but hey, it's all good. So now what we're gonna do is powder. I like using a matte powder. I used to be really into like translucent powders. Um, so then it's like really, really natural. But where I'm at right now, it's pretty hot and I'm already like have a sheen just from like sweating. So I really don't need translucent, like shiny makeup on top of that. So we're just gonna do matte. I also prefer matte. I just think it looks smoother. Um, and on my skin, because I'm so fair, I just like kind of the matte look because I feel like I can control my makeup better. Okay, that's not hardly any time at all. So that's all the coverage I'm doing. So now what I'm gonna do is, we talked a lot on the lengthy um, Get Ready With Me about the contour and the lift and everything. So I still do that, but just a lot more like minimal. So when I'm doing my express makeup, I just use the powder. I don't use the cream, but it's the same concept. I still do a line and brush it up. The line on your cheek, on this line on your cheek, straight up, and then just blend it up. I still do a little bit of the sides of my nose. I still do under my chin to create that um, shadow so it like lifts, you know, a little, trick of the trade I shared with you guys last time with the cream, I do the same with the powder and I still do the sides of my forehead. So I don't even do blush when I'm doing express makeup, but what I'll do is I'll just have a little bit of contour just, you know, on my cheeks. Sorry the lighting is kind of rough in here, but I think you're getting the idea. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my one quick natural shadow, which is my light brown. I showed you guys this trick, but I do this trick all the time, even with my quick express makeup. I also do this even when I'm not wearing any makeup, just to give my eye a little bit of contour. So take a light contour color, not dark, and then go like this in the crease, and then up and down in the corner, and immediately you get lift in your eye. So even when I'm doing my express makeup, I always do that same trick. So, be careful to use your lighter contour color. I do this so much I can literally just do it in my phone here for you guys, you can see it. So immediately it lifts. It's such a great trick. I learned this on the set of a show I did and I was blown away when this makeup artist did. I was like, what did you just do? <laughs> Teach me that. So now I taught you guys last time, but I'm showing you again, right? Okay, cool. Now, one thing that is always important, whether it's express makeup or not, you gotta do your brows. Um, that's a personal opinion. Brows help define your face so much. I have got to get new makeup. My <laughs> thing broke. Amazing. Okay, let's do our brows. So, I like doing just like an ashier version of my hair. So, I'm gonna do this, I do this brown and this little bit of red. So it looks really natural. Brows, or you can do them so quickly and they really just make such a difference. So I like using a powder, use whatever you guys feel comfortable with. I know a lot of makeup artists that use the pencil because you can draw it on like hair. Um, I like the powder because I think it looks better on my face. See, it just makes such a difference with like liftage. And then, but you always want to brush through it, even with pencil. Um, that's what I've been taught, so that's what I do. Even with pencil, you just want to brush your own hairs to make sure it's like, and I go down, up in the arch, and then down at the end. Makes a huge difference. All right, let's do the other one. Okay, let's brush it up in the arch, down in the corner. Okay, brows are done. Okay, so mascara. So in the past, we've talked about doing the wet line underneath, the wet line on top, and then draw the line, the little flippy dip. And then we do mascara 
and then we touch up the flippy dip. So with the Express Makeup, I'm just gonna curl my lashes, I'm gonna mascara them, let them dry, and then I'm just gonna do a quick little line just on top. So that's how I do it when I'm doing my makeup quickly. Um, I still do the line, but I do it a much simpler version. So first thing is curl our lashes, go all the way to the base, curl, and then crimp. Open and crimp the curler as you go all the way to the end, because you don't want just like a boink like that. You want it to be like a natural, you know, curl. So you want to get to the base. This is kind of hard doing this so far away from the mirror, but I just wanted to just show you guys. So let's try this again. Curl at the base. See how my hand is opening and closing? I'm literally crimping all the way out. Like literally, I'm just crimping the whole time, like 80s styles, crimping our hair again. Yes, I crimped my hair in the 80s. Don't make it weird. <laughs> okay, so cool. All right, that looks good. So because my eyes are more almond shape, you guys might not have to do this, but because my eyes are more almond shape, I love a corner curler because um, it really gets those ones in the corner and helps everything go up and like lift, right? So this thing, you can get it super cheap online. I love these things. I love having this in my makeup kit. I do have to lean out of frame to do this, sorry. But basically I'm just getting right in the corner and I'm crimping in. Cool. It makes, it makes such a difference. Like, you know, you get those silly questions where you're like, if you were on a desert island and you can only have two things of makeup, what would it be? I'm like, an eyelash curler and chapstick. Like that's literally the two things I would want. You'd need an eyelash curler and then something to moisturize your lips. And preferably lipstick. But if I only got two things, eyelash curler would definitely be one of them. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna mascara. Again, I like using cheap mascara because I find that it's drier. It's not like designer wet mascara that flops your lashes down. I don't want to say some blanket statement like every designer makeup is like wet, but the ones that I've used, they're, they just don't work on my lashes. So you want to go down to the base again and shimmy that mascara up so you really get every lash. Just be really, really careful. I love that I'm doing this like four feet away from the mirror. Okay, but see what a difference that makes when you curl them and you get all the way to the end. Okay, so I'm gonna mascara this eye, we're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna do that quick little black line. Okay, cool, so mascara is dry, um, express line. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a really thin little black line, the same thing that we talked about in the last tutorial I did with you guys, where the same line from here up like that we're gonna follow that trajectory and we're gonna do a little flippy dip but we gotta move really quickly and it's gonna be really thin it's just a nice little light definition i'm wondering if i could do it <laughs> like how do i do this and show you guys i'm gonna do what i can here so really thin and quick because you don't want to wet your lashes Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna add my little flippy. I mean, I probably could do this with my eyes closed at this point. So you do the little line, right? And then you wanna just connect. Flippy dip, yay. So now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna lean in because now I'm gonna do a quick little, I like bringing the line down to where my lash, my lashes start like here. So now with my brush, I just don't want to poke myself in the eye when I go in there, so I'm going to lean into the mirror. But I'm going to do a nice little quick one, just like I just did. So I did the little line, flippy dip, brought it down to here, and it makes a really big difference. The lighting is so bad. Hopefully you, you know, kind of get the idea. Okay, right on. Let's do the other eye. Okay, so now that I have my black line, the other thing I like to do for like my softer express look is... With these same contour colors, I like to take the darkest one 
and just do a teeny little smudge on the line. So it just adds a little bit, it just makes it a little bit softer, a little bit more natural. So you basically just go on the line, I'm gonna not block you, and you just do a little smudgy. And it just kind of softens it. And then you can always just define the little flippy, but see how it just kind of, um, see how it just kind of like softens the line a bit? Doesn't that look nice? I, I mean, I love the hard line too. But this is a little bit natural, right? It just softens it a teeny bit. So that's just like a nice little trick you guys can do too if you want. Let's do the other side. See? See, it's like it's, it's just softer. It's kind of nice. And then if you want, you can just add back at that teeny little flippy dip. The flippy is temperamental. You gotta like, the flippy takes a little bit of love. You know, you gotta like reapply it. You gotta like work with it. You know, it's a situation, but it's worth it because man, we love a flippy dip. Okay, now lips and then we're done. How fast was that? Right on, lipstick on. A nice natural, I love a natural pink color. And now we're gonna get dressed. So I was feeling a little bit like 90s. So I'm doing this t-shirt under an also dress. I wish I had like a little pair of combat boots with socks and stuff. That'd be super cute. But again, I'm traveling super light. So I just have my sneaks, but I think it's gonna be good. Let's get dressed. Okay guys, I am ready for date night. <laughs> Got my little sneaks on, my little 90s vibe. Um, I also, have been really into, I mean, I want to bring a sweater because you never know what the AC of cold is going to be. And I've been really into wearing my sweaters like this again recently. <laughs> so this is what's happening. Thank you guys for hanging out with me while I get ready. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another video. I'll see you guys soon.